Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another video. This time I'm starting a new EC series. You all remember that I had the Amicus series that lasted about 10 episodes. I still release a little bit more on that. That's coming up pretty soon. You'll find out more later. But now I wanted to go toward the HBO show. Now with this series, I'm not going to be, you're not going to see me go through page through page of these books. What I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about the episode uh, through the pictures that are in these books from that particular story and then show you the summarized version of the uh, episode at the end of the video. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, with this series. And this is episode one. So the two episodes, I'll cover about two episodes per video. The two episodes that I plan to cover come out of these two books. First one is from Tales from the Crypt 28. It's called The Ventriloquist's Dummy. This was one of my favorite episodes from season two. It had Bobcat Goldthwait and Don Rickles as the main characters. And in this one right here, Tales from the Crypt 39, I chose this one because this was the very first Tales from the Crypt book I read. The very first story, the cover story, season three episode, Undertaking Pallor with John Glover as the main character. So sit back, enjoy the snapshots of the uh, stories in the books, and then stay tuned for the summarized episodes. Girl with the tits. I just recently flew in 
from New Jersey. You can do it. My partner and myself would like to take this time to announce a very special guest in the audience. Uh, a, a man who, without any doubt, is probably the world's greatest Did you discover any other new heavenly bodies that night? 
You bet your ass. Feast your eyes on it. Hey, baby, what are you doing after the show? Stick to the material. Damn it. Forget the material. The Tootsie's making eyes at me. Warning you. I thought she could set the varnish off a footstool. Good, Johnny. Look, we had an agreement. You get top billing, the ladies are off limits. Now cut the shit or I'm going to shove it right back into that meat grinder. I think you're going to find that a little difficult. Yeah. Not to mention uh, pain. What are you doing? Renegotiating our deal. Uh, or not. I didn't even know 
she was sick. She was a nice old lady, too. Okay, this folks back. Let's get out of here. Wait, hi, hi. a smile.
There he goes. Jesus, they're stopping. Regular kamikaze. Oh, right, the shoes. The shoes. Ah, oh, damn it, neither one. Got a new toy, boys? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Grundy. Why are you pointing your camera into my store when there are so many pretty girls out here on the street for you to take pictures of? Oh, oh, Norman, I'm glad you came by today. I've got some deliveries for you to make. The first one's for Sebastian Esper from the mortuary. Joshua, go to the shoes. He's the one that killed my dad. Uh, shh. I've got an idea. <clears throat> Hello, anybody home? Grundy's? for you from Grundy's? Yeah, well, give it to me. Oh, okay. Here you go, sir. Ooh. Pretty strong prescription, huh? Okay. Eat it, raw punch. No! Come back Eat here. Come back here! Battery acid. Who gave you this? Right, come on, let's go. You guys go in. I'm putting an end to this whole stinking mess. It's over. Well, I don't think so, Nate. Unless, of course, you'd like me to tell the authorities what really happened to your wife. Seeing as they missed the fact that she was poisoned the first time around, maybe they'd like a second chance. You know, I had a feeling you'd say something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Shit! Nate, no, Nate. I, you're overreacting. It's that fat kid. He faked all this just to set us against each other. Look, I've got proof right here. <laughs> Three seconds. You think I'm kidding? All right. 